see Abu Makarim to the right of your picture there, just ready to receive. She's got the black colour around her name and Ibrahim with the blue top, so the blue colour around her name. Worth mentioning that as we've progressed into the under 17s, for love. the video review is now available. Having a tough, tough match yesterday, might be feeling it in the legs. I'll face that backhand. Don't want to get anywhere near that swing. Again, that's a great kill. Both players look, uh, look pretty sparky, to be fair, in this first game. She's yeah, fantastic at that shot. Just a couple of times now she's done that, Ibrahim. It's very well played, very relaxed. Looking very confident, looking very fresh physically and mentally. She knew, didn't she? It was a cursory ask there from Abu Makarim. So Ibrahim. Eleven four game to Ibrahim. A surprisingly comfortable Ibrahim first game for her. One game to love. Yeah, luckily we've been fine with that so far today. Not, uh, not any problems really no. in terms of uh, bringing the referee into, into effect and handbags, as we call it. Did happen a little oh, bit yesterday. That was filthy. nice. <laughs> oh, see you and later. Two, four. Check this out. Yeah, oh, I think I, twi I twitched massively on that one. <laughs> well, that was uh, a shriek we've heard from Abu Makarim. Ibrahim who's started to show a little bit more quality. Oh, that's incredible. Jeez. She's caught the neck. Wow, she's struggling to get up there. That's <laughs> not, not surprised. I know. It's a full on, full on slide. Red it's box. a good job. She's flexible. Yeah. I don't think I've ever got in that position. That's going to be another stroke. Um, almost identical situation. Eleven eight a game to Ibrahim. And, uh, Ibrahim. What we now know is a um, fist pump stroke. Yeah, this time Sam Todd playing uh, against the Malaysian, Shah. I think he's only played Malaysians or Egyptians in his finals so far. Mm. And out, 4-3. That's a good follow-up. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's clever. Really nice disguise there, early preparation and... Eight. Six. Great deceleration. It's difficult to. So it's Abel Macrim. One game ball. Give herself a lifeline this final. Oh, that's a great drop. Great drop. She's she's hit a little heavy in that front corner. And out ten all a player she must to bring win out the perfect drop shot. Her careers. No, it's one thing just watching it on squash TV, but it's another thing actually being on there and in the heat of the moment, knowing knowing what decisions to review. And still a match ball for Ibrahim. No lead. Oh. Yeah, I think she just got the right line there, and it was uh, it was the right depth 12, as well. 10, These two look like they're good Marie. friends. Three games to love. Mutual respect there, and it was a fantastic win 11, for Ibrahim Abu Makarim.
12, picked up her game to be fair and did her best but it was Ibrahim who just had a little bit too much quality the number two seed so Sana Mahmoud Ibrahim coming through 11-4 11-8 12-10 she is the British Junior Open champion girls under 17 this year 2020 Play the ball to the back and then play it to the front. You <laughs> Oh, it's a great length. Bit of a dead and spot in that back one, corner, that back three. left, but still a great line from Shah. We were a little bit early for him, but we'll just see uh, he's happy with the afternoon start. Bit heavy on that drop shot. Yeah, everything well controlled. Nine, two. It's a decent cross court. He's played some good squash here, Sam Todd, but he could go up a gear or two, I reckon. Yeah, the pace is a little bit slow, which is what we've seen from Shah. Past two matches. It's what he likes to do, but I think he's got to be playing someone with worse ball control than him, and I don't think he is today. That's a great yeah. flick. Fantastic flick straight there from Sam Todd. You can hear the uh, Ponty top. contingent. There's quite a few Todd down. Leeds. We're having a bit of a anticlimactic semi final yesterday against the Pakistani Norzaman. Yeah, it was a poor performance, really. After a reasonable first from Zaman. Yeah, semi competitive the first game, 11 6. Kind of level in the middle of the game, and then Sam pulling away. But second and third were very poor from the Pakistanis. Well, he just gave up, didn't it? It's, it's people can uh, forgive if you're, if you're outclassed, but uh, just lack of effort. Yeah. Right. That's a great Brilliant. shot. Acknowledged by Shah. Four, two. So difficult the straight lob, but that never left the sidewall. <laughs> it's a lovely straight lob. Love that shot. In the floor there, Sam Todd, in the middle of the rally. Shows how much time he's got. Yeah, it's quite a, it's a very comfortable pace, isn't it? This is why yeah, I thought it, com it coming into this match that Sam would would dominate. And he is. Yeah, I think um, if anything, if any style Seven, would worry him, it would be two. it would be a, a much faster pace. Yeah, definitely. So eight game balls for Sam Todd. Take a two love lead. It's a great shot. So simple. 11 Sam two. Todd Game supporters to really enjoying this. Todd leads. Oh, that's not bad from Shah. Head out, two, three. Nice to see him take. Wow, that is severe. One or two slightly loose ones Six, there, but he made up for it two. at the end of this point. Take that. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Eat my nick. Seven, two. Oh, that's naughty. <laughs> 
eight match balls here to take the title. Can Shah delay Sam Todd? Great lob. Played it. Oh, oh well done. Wonderful performance. Well played. Seven, and a little two. bit of emotion there from Sam Todd Thanks at the end. Look at, the <laughs> Look at the Look at his supporters there. There's quite a few, as I said, from Pontefract. Eleven four. Obviously his father, Nick Todd two. here, and Lee Beachill's been helping him. Really good performance from Sam Todd. I mean, it was the pressure was on him. Everyone was expecting him to win this event. But he's done it in style. He hasn't dropped a game. And there you have it. 11-4, 11-2, 11-2. A comprehensive victory in 26 minutes for Sam Todd. He is the British Junior Open champion, boys under 17. Two very crisp hitters of the ball. Particularly Sheehar. Asman, a great attitude on the court. Like, and uh, he had a coffee cup, but I'm not sure it was coffee in the cup. Didn't smell like he coffee, seemed, did it? He seemed rather lively. <laughs> <laughs> it's no coffee I've ever smelled. <laughs> Could have been Irish coffee. Said a few times about Asman. She has a very s a, a swing similar to Nicole David. Stroke to Malaysian legend. So Jana Sheha coming through that first game. As I say, didn't really kick off with any drama. Noise there, Asman, after that uh, <laughs> shot. Was that her? <laughs> yeah, it was. That was you, Pasha. Uh, she um, hardly opened her mouth, but there was a noise. Tight. Yeah, it's good work. And out four one. Such a good shot, simple shot to play off a off a boast. Oh, that's nice. Good racket head speed from the Malaysian. Five seven. Getting onto this ball nice and early. Bit of a hold and then a whip through. What a line that was. Perfect. From not an easy position six. that no. for Sheha. She's coming in love. from behind the ball, which is always a little bit tricky to get it running that straight with power. But Jana Sheha in great form, taking the second game, 11-6 in seven minutes. She leads by two games to love. So aggressive around the middle, isn't she? She uh, oh, oh, clever. Oh, but that's naughty. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want. Just a bit of something different. It's a complete taxi. Simply lovely from the Malaysian. Drawing her in, bam. See you later. Oh. Okay, then. Hit the sidewall, the serve. And but out, uh, nothing's balls. safe when she has around. A great attack. Hand out nine seven. Yeah, good shot. Well off the wall there from Sheehart. Pace has really gone up rally somewhat. Here. Chance. It was ambitious, wasn't it? Oh, and that was the right shot. Drop. How many times have we seen a dispatch? A Straight drops in that corner. Each player has one seed here. No let. 
Oh, another match ball save from the Malaysian. And out, 13 all. Oh, it's got to be. To yeah, it looked like a stroke to, to me. Be. It was very loose return from Asman. She's very gracious in defeat. Yeah. She, she gave it her best, uh, particularly in that third. She she had a chance, 11 really, 7, 11 of taking it to four 14. games. But Jana Sheha, wonderful performance. Uh, she looked very, very well organised this tournament. She, she extends her record of... Unbeaten matches. Yeah, it's getting quite impressive now, isn't it? Unbelievable. She's looking very, very good for her PSA career. So 11-7, 11-6, 16-14 in the third to Jana Sheha in 35 minutes. She is the British Junior Open Girls Under-19 Champion 2020. Both these players very, very, very strong physically. Just like to see a little bit more variation. Of course, it works. Uh, it's proven to work for both in the final and this junior event. But um, I think when they move into more of the PSA, you're going to have to find more variation. Yeah, I think. Five two. I think El Certi come off the pace five percent and hit a much more accurate shot. It's probably because I was never a known as a power player. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. I've seen these guns. Oh, it's a lovely finish. And out five seven. And then when I got a chance just to get in front, was using a hold, was stopping his movement because he's a big momentum player. Once he gets on a roll, he's tough to stop. Don't be afraid to take him in short because he doesn't necessarily play many drops. Stroke to 30. Well, that was an easy stroke, really, I thought, but uh, no, no complaint from on our Sunny. Look, I mean, this it's a poor shot, but it's space, but it doesn't matter on our Sunny's. Had enough of the first game, so it's 11-8 to El Certi in nine minutes. He leads by one game to love. You always see it through rose-coloured spectacles when you're on there. It's a nice lift there from El Certi. Slightly overhit, but had the same effect. And, and a poor cross-court onto the volley. Well, Certi, easy put away. It's a little wild. Well, that's but he got away with it. It's really anticipating well on that backhand yeah. volley drop. El Certi. Yeah, you can see it coming, can't you? And that one. Looks quite comfortable on there. It looks like he's reading yep. on our Sammy really easily. <laughs> he's all over him, isn't he? Nine five. So far. Great shot. Great shot. Really clever. So clinical. So accurate from El Certi. I think most people are expecting El Certi to win, but. And out, 4 3. Watching these juniors coming through. He was there once. 89, I think that uh, sounds about right. Tough final, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it somebody retiring. 
Yeah, Nick Matthew didn't even play his uh, British Open in the 19 final. And out. He was due to play Ong Beng Hee. Oh, he's done it. There it is. He's done it. Thoroughly deserved. And now you see the joy of all the hard work that's gone in over the years from Mustafa El Serti. Well, now Asani didn't play badly, but just couldn't get enough inroads into the El Serti game. Certainly wasn't easy. Had to work hard. But uh, so Mustafa El Serti, the number one seed, taking out the number two seed, 11-8, 11-5, 11-7. In 32 minutes, he is the new British Open under-19 champion.